Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is sports and leisure. Let's get to it. Question 1. What is the maximum number of clubs a golfer may use in a round? The answer is 14. Did you know that the maximum number of clubs a golfer can use in a round is 14? That's right, golfers have to carefully choose their arsenal of clubs to tackle the course. So next time you see a golfer with a bag full of clubs, remember they're limited to just 14 for that round. Question 2. In baseball, which team is associated with the city of Chicago and has a name that starts with the letter C? The answer is Cubs. The Chicago Cubs, one of the oldest and most beloved baseball teams, hold a unique record in Major League Baseball. They went an astonishing 108 years without winning a World Series championship, the longest drought in professional sports history. However, in 2016, they finally broke the curse and brought home the coveted title to their loyal fans. Question 3. What does TKO stand for? The answer is technical knockout. In the world of boxing, TKO stands for technical knockout. But did you know that this term was first used in the late 19th century? Back then, if a boxer was knocked down and couldn't get back on their feet within 10 seconds, it was considered a TKO. So next time you watch a boxing match, remember the fascinating history behind those three letters. Question 4. Who was the first British athlete to hold the world javelin record? The answer is Fatima Whitbread. Fatima Whitbread, the first British athlete to hold the world javelin record, had an incredible journey to success. Born prematurely and abandoned in a hospital car park, she was adopted by Margaret Whitbread. Despite facing adversity, Fatima went on to become a two-time Olympic medalist and a true inspiration in the world of athletics. Question 5. Which color ring surrounds the gold center of an archery target? The answer is red. In the world of archery, hitting the bullseye is the ultimate goal. But did you know that the color red was chosen to surround the gold center of an archery target for a fascinating reason? It turns out that red is one of the most visible colors to our eyes, making it easier for archers to spot their shots and determine their accuracy. So next time you see a red ring on an archery target, remember it's not just for aesthetics but also for practicality. Question 6. What score in darts is known as the Madhouse? The answer is double one. In the world of darts, hitting a double one is famously known as the madhouse. This term originated from the frustration and disappointment players feel when they miss their intended target and end up with a score of just two points. It's definitely a place no darts player wants to find themselves in. Question 7. What is Linford Christie's best time for the 100 meters? The answer is 9.87. Linford Christie, the British sprinter, set his best time for the 100 meters at an impressive 9.87 seconds. To put this into perspective, if you were to blink your eyes just once during his race, you would miss approximately 0.1 seconds of his lightning fast speed. Question 8 How is its inerrance do Nascimento better known? The answer is Pele. Pele, the legendary Brazilian footballer, is not just a name but a nickname. 
Edson Arantz do Nascimento earned the moniker Pele during his childhood when he mispronounced the name of his favorite goalkeeper, Bile. The mispronunciation stuck and became one of the most iconic names in sports history. And with that final whistle, our time together comes to an end. Remember, life's a game, so keep swinging for the fences and scoring those goals. Goodbye. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Good night for now, until we cross paths again tomorrow. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.